And good day, everybody. 12 Gauge here, a week after the Crossroads Guitar Festival. And I just wanted to share with you the box that I got for winning Eric Clapton's Play Crossroads Guitar Festival. I got first place for original music entry, and wherever I upload this, I will try to have a link to the specific five songs that allowed me to win, a couple of which I played all instrumentation on, recorded myself, and conceived the song, did everything, just me. No extra engineers, no extra musicians, all my effort. So it feels <clears throat> quite amazing to win such a personal package for me because Eric Clapton's one of my top influences as a musician and uh, I'm donning the crossroads gear but I, I gotta switch out this hat for a moment because well one of the things I got Ernie Ball and Guitar Center are the sponsors alongside the crossroads festival so got me a nice cool Ernie Ball hat <clears throat> Ernie Ball Tone Pack of Electric Strings. I've never tried the Slinky Steel, so that's going to be fun. Maybe I'll throw that on a Stratocaster. Got Paradigm Acoustic. And I just stocked up on strings before this. I had no idea what, what was going to be sent to me. A nice Ernie Ball guitar strap, and I am actually missing one, so this is perfect to get me back to functional level instead of having to undo the strap lock and switch guitar put it on blah 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 got some everlast guitar picks which i gotta start practicing some new material for some festival stuff here soon so i get to try those out i hadn't even heard of everlast now musician's toolkit Looks like I got some learning to do. Adjustments. Hadn't really done anything like that on my own guitar in quite some time. Of course, that's stuff I use frequently. Those are going to help make my guitar look better than I can ever do. Than I can ever accomplish. A cradle and a tuner in one to help me with that. And these things keep walking away. I've got three of them. Stumbling around here somewhere, I'm sure. Got this. This is going to make changing strings so much easier now. Ernie Ball Power Peg. This is awesome. I When I first opened this, I was just set aside with excitement. and I, I couldn't believe. I, I, I still can't believe that I won. But just all this amazing stuff. And that's not it. That's... Got a nice, high-quality new instrument cable. I've had some of mine since I started playing 10, 15 years ago, and I always find that sweet spot so they don't crackle. And then, I'm not sure how I'm going to get these out easily, I got a nice assortment of Ernie Ball stickers. A few more in here. And anyone that's been following my music for... A lengthy amount of time several years would notice that most of my guitars have decorations on them so this is going to go a long way as far as decorating and having fun and making the guitar a little flashier so there it is my winnings for first prize at Eric Clapton's Play Crossroads Guitar Festival contest. The grand prize winner got to play on the outside festival stage. I'd like to know how close I came to the grand prize, but I am very humbled to win what I did and to, after all this time, be noticed for my individuality, my unique take on blues, rock, jazz, and folk, and to know that my efforts have not gone unnoticed and that representatives from Ernie Ball, Eric Clapton's Crossroads Festival, Guitar Center, that the moment it needed to count for my creativity, 
that it did so. Thank you, Arnie Ball. Thank you, Eric Clapton. Thank you, Guitar Center. I I plan on using all of these items up until they are broken and unrecognizable and getting the most use out of them as possible. I might try to save the hat a little bit more, though. Thank you for everyone that supported me. Thank you for following me and help, helping me believe that this dream can become a reality. And thank you for making this dream a reality. See you at one of the shows. Thank you.